Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to properly back up your website using a plugin called Updraft Plus Premium. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to navigate to Updraft Plus's website at updraftplus.com and you'll see the URL below on the screen. And they have three options. They have a, actually they have four. They have a free version, um, a two license, a 10 license and an unlimited license version. The free version is limited, and you can look at their website for what is limited. But as you can see right here, on their premium version, it includes all of this right here. So you got automated backups. You can back up to third-party um, storage, such as OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, things of that nature. You can migrate your website. You can schedule backups. Um, you can add additional files that aren't in your WordPress repository, so maybe ones that are in your root. Um, you can back up to multiple destinations. Uh, there really is a lot of additions that you can have, and you can always also purchase these separately if if you if you want to do that. But what I have right now is I have the unlimited license because I install this on every single one of my websites. This is the number one backup plugin that I trust the most. I have everything going to my unlimited. G Suite account for Google Drive so that way I can back up my website every day for you know 400 days or if I wanted to keep one for a whole year whatever I wanted to do um, they have different prices here below so whatever suits you would be the best option so now that I'm on my website I'm gonna go ahead and add a new plugin and then once I add a new plugin, we're going to upload a new one. And then I've already downloaded it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that file. Once this is installed, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Once it's activated, there is a new section underneath of settings called Updraft Plus Backups. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And right here, you have the current status of all of your backups, existing backups, the settings for which how you want to back up and how often you want to back up. Some advanced tools so you can actually export options so you don't have to keep typing these in for every website. You can lock all of the settings for your backups. Um, they have a search and replace database. Um, you can calculate the file sizes of your entire website um, and basically just wipe your settings as well. And then they have your premium extensions here. Um, and this is where you're actually going to sign in with your updraft account right here and then this is where you can activate it so right now i'm going to go ahead and activate my account right here and i have everything hidden for privacy so let's go ahead and connect it so right now it says we are connected right here and now i want to activate all of my add-ons so I just go ahead and activate it on this site and it's going to go ahead and take a couple seconds to activate it. And right now it's telling me that I need to go ahead and update the plugin. Go ahead and click on this and it's going to go through its update process. Once it's done updating, we're going to go ahead and return back to our settings and the Updraft Plus set backups settings. And if we navigate over to premium extensions, you'll see that we are now 100% activated for all of our extensions. Okay. So now I'm going to go over to my settings and on my settings, I want this website to back up once a week on Sundays at, you know, 12 o'clock in the morning. So let's do zero, zero, but let's do it at 12 five. And I want to go ahead and keep, since it's going to be weekly, I want to keep a year's worth. So let's keep 52 backups. And we're going to do the same thing for our database. Now, a lot of people are going to say this is overkill, which with backups, you can never be too safe. Um, I own, I'm only backing up weekly because that's the maintenance package that this client asked for. Um, if she had asked for a different one, it would actually be daily backups. But there's not going to be a lot of changes to this website. So weekly backup is going to be more than enough for this client. You might have an e-commerce website to where I suggest backing up a minimum of four hours. And if you feel if you have a lot of customers, I would say back up on an hourly basis. That's going to take up a lot of space. So depending on how you have your remote storage set up, um, you're going to need a lot of space. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and do my Google Drive settings. 
And with Google Drive, there's a little bit extra that you have to do. Um, and let's see, I'm going to go ahead and navigate off camera. And I'm going to go ahead and activate this. And doing that down here, they tell you exactly how to do it. Um, basically, you have to create an API for this website. Copy and paste your domain name into the API so that it recognizes it. And then you have to copy and paste this for the return authorization over here as well. All right, and then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and it's going to give me client ID and a client secret, which of course you guys are not going to be able to see. But once you do that, it's it's very simple. Just follow the links that they give you, and you'll be able to go ahead and follow examples. Now I want this to back up in my backups folder into that specific folder right there. So all of my backups go into my Z underscore backups, and I only put a Z because that makes it show at the very bottom of my drive. Um, and then it's going into this folder. This folder does not have to be existing as it will create the folder for you. So I wanna go ahead and include my plugins, my themes, and all of my uploads. And then you can include any other file you want using this setting here. You just have to add the directory here. For this one, I don't need to do that. Uh, no database encryption. I don't need to back up more databases. Um, and my email reports. This. <coughs> allows you to go ahead. And basically if it's a success or if there's an error, it's going to send you an email. And I have a setup in my Slack. To where I have a channel set up for all of my backup notifications. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that email there. And I want to go ahead and set it so that I keep, I get all reports. So I'm going to leave everything unchecked there. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. It's going to ask me to authorize my Google Drive account. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link they provide me. Click the account that I'm assigning it to and allow permissions. So now we have completely set it up so that we are backing up once a week on Sunday at 12.05 a.m. my time. And it's going to be backing up to my Google Drive. Let's go ahead and give it a test backup. Let's go ahead and if we manually back it up, it's going to ask us these settings. I just leave them all checked. You can rename it if you want to, but there's no need for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit backup now. So right now it's requesting the start of the backup. So right now it's gathering all of the information that I want it to back up. It's going to compress it into different files, around five files. Uh, one for database, one for plugins, one for uploads, one for other, one for themes. So there's five files there. And right now it's going to go ahead and upload those to the remote storage. Since this is a very small website, it did not take long at all to back up. I didn't even have to speed it up. So right now... The last backup was today at 5.09, and the next backup is going to be on the 20th. Now, it's only doing that because that's the next Sunday that's going to do it. If I go ahead to existing backups, it's going to go ahead and refresh, and you can see that my backup was made here. It was sent to Google Drive. I can manually download all of the files that it sent there. I can use the restore feature, I can delete it, and I can view the log of what occurred during that backup. Um, my web server disk space used by Updraft is none, basically, because it's everything is uploading to Google Drive. You can um, download files to your computer and upload them manually to the website. You can also um, rescan your remote storage and your local folder if you made changes to those. This plugin, I highly recommend. This is one of the best plugins. It's very inexpensive um, and it's fully automated. And when I have a success and a backup, I go ahead and I get a notification. So right now I'm checking my Slack and it says that I backed up this website at what time to using Updraft and it's even telling me the version. So if I know it's out of date. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.